I cannot hold on to the waking state. That is not good and I don't do that. When I am doing my work, I am perfectly awake. When I am driving, when I am outside, I am like an ordinary person. See, this is loss of control. This is not, this will not be called being in control. So awareness should give you the control. Losing control means there is no awareness. Means that the attention is wandering here and there. To control your attention is the whole practice. Concentrate on your work. What is happening here is because you are waiting or you know doing something boring like driving or something. And the mind does not want to face this thing. So it wanders off into some, some other state which is not good. When I was talking about intoxication, it is not intoxication of this kind that the control is lost. No, it is not lost. So if you don't have any interest in activity, don't do it. Don't do it. Let somebody else do. You are earning a lot, isn't it? Let somebody else do all this boring job and pay them good money. And you do something interesting which keeps you awake. By the way, I do all my work. I do all the boring works and I do all the interesting also. Going into the public places, going into the cities, they provide a lot of grounding. Otherwise, you will feel ungrounded, which is loss of control actually. So, I do all the work. Cleaning, cooking, washing, going to the market, going to the village, going to the city. Everything. Getting the car repaired, getting the things repaired, get my hands dirty. Everything. Because that is the indication of good control, isn't it? That means the mind is not pushing its likes and dislikes on this body. You know what happens when your likes and dislikes start controlling the body instead of intelligence. There is no balance left in that life. Yes, there will be likes and dislikes. So what? Let them be there. You become aware of them. And we need to do that which is necessary. This much should be remembered all the time. This life is not to be governed by emotions and likes and dislikes and preferences. That which is necessary should be done. Whether it is boring, not boring. Yes, it should be done skillfully, artfully, beautifully. Whatever you are doing tiniest, you know, lowliest kind of job, you should do it skillfully. And I have seen there are such people actually, need not be seekers, worldly people. And they are most happy people I have seen. Most happy because there is a gratification in doing your work correctly. So some people will go one step ahead than doing their work nicely. Like they not only clean their house, they decorate their house. So one step ahead. I don't do that. I am lazy kind of. So, just clean it. That's all. Clean it only as much as it is needed. That is my definition of perfection. Don't do anything which is not needed. So, that is my view. Although these states can be enjoyable, like you're sitting in a plane, now there's two hours flight. Now, what can you do in that? Instead of messing with your mobile or something, you know, reading some useless book, you can sit and relax. That, that time is good for you, isn't it? To relax. Sleep. Go to sleep. The unaware sleep is also good. Slowly you will find that everything becomes aware. It's pervaded with awareness. It takes some time to get used to that kind of sleep where awareness is present. It looks like I am not sleeping. After a few months, the new state is accepted. The mind is accustomed to this new state. Adapted. So I think these states, these non-interest and this passing, I mean, it, it should not last forever. So awareness does not mean, you know, just drifting off in some kind of crazy state. It means doing this for which you are here. Experience human life as it is completely. This is awareness. Can you talk about our development after attaining knowledge? Are you still maturing? See, it depends on what you mean by our and you. The experiencer never develops. You should know this. Probably you already know this. The experiencer is the perfect thing. No development. And this creature will keep evolving endlessly. I think that also you know already. Now, only thing that needs to be done is don't slide back. Don't slide down. This is your development. This is your maturing. That you should have a detector installed in your mind that detects whenever you are sliding down. A little bit is okay. You know, sometimes we lose this equanimity, awareness and whatever blah 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 things. Spiritual stuff. It's perfectly okay. 
but if your overall direction is downwards by which i mean towards the ignorance or darkness then <laughs> it is not called development because there is no need for change and the change happens on its own there is no need to force it just ensure that you are not sliding down that's all so this creature is maturing yes no doubt about it it will keep evolving for how much time forever i am perfectly okay with that you see evolution means that there is always something to get always there is no end to it so you will always remain dissatisfied with your level of evolution today i have become only a human it's too bad isn't it we are on the lower side now evolve do something let it happen let the change happen you enable the change and then you become enlightened human awakened person too bad then you become a god i am only only lower god now i need to become a higher god you will find there is a hierarchy there also hierarchy of angels and gods and goddesses dissatisfaction the creature is never satisfied with what it is that is the driving force for the evolution otherwise the creature will never evolve so seeing this we neither demand that nor we reject that in buddhism you will find very definite steps of evolution they have given it very nicely the arahant stage and the arahant stage i don't even remember the names we are not really concerned about that what what are we concerned about that? drop the human form i am concerned only with this much drop the human form you have taken this form since a long time now those who need this form they should continue actually and <laughs> they they need more experience more learning they should not drop it so your guru guru will be able to tell what you need to do and for most of the people i see who are on the path of knowledge they will drop their human form coming births few lifetimes this is natural need not be done just keep your preferences on the higher side be more human be more more than human have this will intention to be more than human and it will happen as it should happen that's why i said you know effortless we should not prevent it we should not demand it the both things are there so let it happen as it is why did i say don't slide back because there is a danger that you will drop in ignorance you are doing this job of evolving which simply means that you be in knowledge nothing else to do so the evolution cannot be done by somebody like she said experiencer does not do anything obviously it is whole and perfect complete so and the creature cannot do anything because creature is only puppet so who does it it happens automatically so let it happen there is no practice that will make you evolve it is happening automatically the thing is there is a desire in this creature to evolve which is natural isn't it as soon as it sees an opening as soon as the creature perceives that there is more to be achieved it goes there the old is seen like a prison now it is like a cage and as soon as a door is open it escapes wants to escape so you are happy as a human isn't it <laughs> no problem at all but as soon as a higher possibility is shown to you that there is a possibility of dropping the human form then this will comes to progress develop evolve whatever you want to call it in some of the masters they recommended because you know end of suffering forever right now also there there is no suffering that much you know but this thing does not know it this thing the creature will never know it so it must be ended this is the view of some people there are some more people like you know in spirituality everything is okay after one stage you will find that everything is okay there are all all view points are actually right so there is no quarrel between these view points so some will prefer to come back as humans because the real work is here the work is needed here you see they will say like this there is nothing in the clouds nothing to do in the clouds come back on the ground that's what they recommend bottom line is you should have a control over this business of incarnation that's all i think that is my view point that uh, once we evolve to the higher side it does not mean that we lose our ability to become human again no it is like when you learn to drive a car you don't lose your ability to drive a bike and when you learn to drive a bike you don't lose your ability 
to ride the cycle the bicycle and obviously you don't lose your ability to walk so the evolution is inclusive actually it includes the lower always if you look at the human body it has everything from a single cell to the human everything in between is present it has not actually left the lower it has accumulated over it this is evolution what do i suggest is you know keep this option of coming back as human because who knows you will need it some day who knows your guru some day your guru will <laughs> ask you to go and do some service there are stories of some masters and they came back as animals also animal form half animal half man who knows what is possible what is possible here so need basis do that which is needed can you tell a consecrated temple to visit in north there is nothing in north and nothing is south the temple is within the real deity is within you visit that that place often if you still have this will to go here and there then you see the vrittis are still strong then you choose any temple and go you know explore there's no no harm in exploring it's a lot of fun actually but the real temple is within you and once you reach there the other temples are like fake cardboard sets fake nothing in temple they are like a curiosity toys so i also do that sometimes you see but uh, it's becoming less and less see if you are open to knowledge or you you are open to the guru field for inspiration then you will get it in your bathroom also bathroom is a very good place to contemplate nobody disturbs you there you don't need a temple i'm not joking if you are open then everything is a temple everything is sacred everything is consecrated if you have no opening in you if you are not in a receiving posture then even the biggest temple in the world will do nothing for it it is just stones bricks and the statue is just beautiful stone sculpture that's all nothing in the statue idol worship so this tendency to visit places if it is strong then it needs to be exhausted visit a few places and then you'll find it's totally useless waste of time you could have done something better in that time you see you could have done something better with that money that you are spending but yes it needs to be exhausted sometimes like all tendencies the desires must be fulfilled and they go away they are not going to stay there so i also did that you know and very soon i came to know nothing will be found there so it is better to visit ashrams i tell people don't go to temples because the statue will never speak to you go to the ashram there the guru is sitting the guru will speak to you why do you need a artificially consecrated thing to teach you something to give you something you have a living entity which is called guru the ashram is the best place for uh, a seeker on the path of knowledge and i am not saying go, go to the ashram uh, which is concerned with pok go to any ashram see what you gain from there all gurus are same you see one guru has all gurus in them they, they change colors like a chameleon all the time they are like this so go to some good ashrams visit some good gurus that will be better use of your time you will be helped by these things sometimes no doubt but the best place is to go within on the path of knowledge there is no recommendation that you should achieve this and you should achieve that this creature should do this and do that there is nothing like this it is always told that you are whole and perfect and you are the highest ultimate this is what path of knowledge is teaching now why do we drop down to this level of illusion where it is recommended to do something because the seeker needs it that's all because the seeker has not uh, arrived at that state where it can simply let go there is a lot of energy in the seeker it wants to do something something is given to exhaust that energy that's all it does not mean that it was necessary it is simply done as a play so like you said if it becomes a millionaire no problem no problem at all if it is not living in ordinary life perfectly okay as a concession sometimes the guru will teach the lower teachings because uh, the seeker is expecting something the expectation must be fulfilled and uh, after a while the seeker realizes that you know all i did was participated in the play which is perfectly okay 
it is happening anyway there is no do it so it should happen anybody who is dying naturally will travel from this world to the other world you know like poetically saying and uh, they can be aware of the both states the waking and the after death state we don't even want to call it projected state because you know now the body is gone so it is the post death state those who die unnaturally they don't get this chance something else happens to them and uh, those who die with a lot of chemical soup in their body like medicines injections who knows what so and these people who do die unnaturally they hold they try to hold on to the body for some reason attachment or fear they do not get this opportunity because you see this body is not blocked so it is unable to express what is going on at the higher level so we never come to know where are they reaching it's all illusion so when illusion is replaced by another illusion when dream is replaced by another dream one should die a natural death fully aware fully knowing what is going on no fear should be seen yes death is also an illusion yes everything is illusion isn't it there is no death only a state change state change of the memory structure it changes it every day you know this time it is a little bit special that's all in death death the state will not be changed back till there is a rebirth then the state changes back to waking but in new body will i see you at the time of my death or some other relative make an intention right now what do you want if you have the proper intention the same thing will appear there if you don't have any intention then the volunteers on the other side they will do the needful they will do whatever is required if you have specific kind of intention hold that intention at the time of your death and you will see me also <laughs> there is no guarantee there that it will be original me or somebody appearing as me but it hardly matters because in that state the, this substance is so fluid the copy is same as the original the copy is same as the original who is original do you think somebody is original here this guru that you are listening to is also an illusion if you want the same illusion to appear there yes sure it can be done hold the intention don't worry about what is original nothing is original <laughs> i am fake and you are fake it is not a problem to teach from different paths but if the student is not mature he is going to be get confused so it is recommended that initially at least you should stick to one very narrow teaching set of teaching once you are you mastered it then you are free to do whatever you want like a artist you know initially the artist draws exactly like his master he simply copies his master no the master says don't do any experiments right now you need to learn how to draw how to paint and once he has mastered he has become like the master then he is allowed to do whatever he wants waste a lot of paint or whatever he wants he will do same way sometimes i take the liberty and when i go into other paths like i said but the newcomer should not get confused by this you know he should follow the instructions exactly follow one thing master it you will say the uh, program is like this it goes straight to the point nothing else is given there sometimes i mention words from other paths or the 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 ancient words for this thing which is our tradition so you know people should not think that i made up all these things so <laughs> it is recommended to stick to one path and once you have mastered it you can explore other things very easy once you know the path of knowledge you will know everything 